Well, artificial intelligence is uh, uh, at the moment a very interesting and brilliant uh, uh, field of research uh, since it's uh, uh, at least in my view one of the most intriguing uh, uh, and promising area of uh, uh, future development in the field of uh, diagnosis surgical, non-surgical prognostication and so on uh, in the treatment of cancer in general, and the neck cancer in particular, and uh, uh, many other fields of medicine and non-medicine for sure. But to, to, to be uh, honest, at the very present day, uh, the practical, uh, I would say, application of such a field are still few and uh, definitely preliminary. For what we are at the moment, uh, we are still trying to make um, artificial intelligence algorithm as able as uh, human are. And to be honest, we are still not there. Or we are there in some specific job, I would say, like identification of a target lesion or classification in a very easy way between benign and malignant disease, for example. But this is after uh, feeding thousands of images to the same algorithm with a long uh, work, time-consuming work uh, with decades of people involved in uh, just feeding with a lot of data uh, a machine, an algorithm, in order to try to simulate the activity of, a, I would say, a normal human being, normal doctor. So, so far, there is no way in which the uh, artificial intelligence can be I would say implemented in, in the everyday uh, clinical routine, either from the diagnostic or um, therapeutic point of view. But there are obviously very promising uh, future development in this sense.